And today's video, I'm going to show you a few very simple methods like increasing your shader cache size on your GPU in order to fix stutter and FPS drops here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. And if you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, guys. Only one seventh of my overall viewers will watch me on a monthly basis. I actually subscribe, guys. You would help me out so, so much. I'm trying to reach 100k subscribers this year, and it's literally one click down below there. So, therefore, guys, please, literally one click. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And you guys know, in the first place, we're going to actually increase our shader cache cache on our GPU which is going to help us to fix stutter in Fortnite. Let me show you exactly how to do it guys. By the way it doesn't matter if you're on Nvidia or AMD. All you guys gotta do in the first place is open up your Nvidia control panel for AMD. Of course it would be Catalyst but I do believe there's a similar function so therefore you maybe have to look it up afterwards because yeah the majority of my community is actually on Nvidia. That's why I'm showing it here you know. And then we only have to go here onto manage 3D settings guys and once we're in here we're gonna scroll down all the way in this list here until we can find shader cache size and you can already see here it's on default and we also have like a small description controls the maximum amount of this space the drive may use for storing shader compiles and this is super important guys shader compiles are effective on any video game and especially on battle royale games or games with like a huge map you know like where's a lot of stuff to load in and exactly that's the case with Fortnite obviously and you can see right now it's on driver default but sometimes it can't fully utilize like how much it actually needs so therefore so many people did as well test and me personally as well and I gotta say 10 gigs actually works the best for me personally I would say um, you can also use like 5 gigs and try it out just to see which one like kind of works better but I'm just gonna put it here on 10 gigs now real quick and then you should just make sure that it's also selected here fully. Then we're going to click on to apply, guys. And by the way, just a small extra tip. You can also go over here now onto programs and select your Fortnite. And there you have a little bit more specific settings for Fortnite, which you usually wouldn't have um, on your normal global settings. Something like texture quality. You can actually put it here on high performance, guys. Yeah, just like a small extra tip because, yeah, under program settings, you have a bunch more options which you don't have on global. So therefore, yeah, as well, just put it here onto performance. Just a quick tip. Put your on to apply guys and then you get it then you're gonna close your nvidia control panel and we're already done here with this first step in this next step guys we need to head over into our fortnite folder but don't be worried we're not gonna only disable like full screen optimization there's as well another trick which you guys can do in the first place we're gonna open here our file explorer go onto our local disk c then we have then program files then should be the epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries windows 64 and here we're going to scroll down and here we have pretty much like all the access which are somehow important for us here for Fortnite, you know, to run it fully in the background. And what we're going to do is right click here actually onto our Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. That's like your main one for Fortnite. You're going to right click onto it, go into properties guys. And then we should have here under compatibility actually something which is going to be called change high DPI settings. And we're going to click onto it. And what you actually want to make sure here now in this window is to make sure to click here onto override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by, and then you leave it on application. This is somehow like a huge issue which has been on Windows for years, yeah? Literally like Call of Duty players are gonna know this issue. And actually having this here on high DPI scaling and it's not working properly can cost you micro stutter in games, guys. That's just simply how it is. You can do some research on your own if you want to just simply Google it. High DPI scaling stutter fix, something like that. You will find it 100%. So therefore what we're gonna make sure is click here on to override high dpi then we're gonna click on to apply and we're good to go and we're gonna enable it actually for all three of these here except our fortnite launcher itself guys this is where we don't need it 100 percent just let me make sure to apply it here to all of these three ones you know compatibility change high dpi and put it here onto override press ok apply and then we're already done here with this step as well. We're gonna close it and now let's continue with the next one. And you guys, in this next step, I want you to go over to my website from where you can download the following pack, which we're gonna be using in today's video, guys. We have here in the first place, FPS boost, input delay, stretch resolution, and extra. And we're going to click on the FPS boost. And once we get redirected, there should be a bunch of posts here, guys. By the way, they're all super beneficial when you wanna improve the performance on your PC. So therefore make sure to check out each and every single one here, especially this one here was super helpful. But we're going to click here now on the one on the top with exactly the same name. And the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now and once you get redirected again just simply scroll down until you can find a download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download the following pack here which is going to be called fix stutter pack 2022 
And once we open it up, we have three files in there. In the first place, run with Affinity, reduce the tweaks, and the Zender Bats tweak. And what are we going to do in the first place, guys, is click on to run with Affinity and launch this program. And I already explained this so often, guys, why this program is actually so beneficial, because it lets us select Fortnite in the first place and set the affinity to the maximum our PC can offer. So what we're gonna do in the first place is click onto it, guys, then go into this PC, local disc C, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and select our shipping exit, guys. And you can already see we have all the core data here of our PC and as well our processor, which is for me AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core 16 thread CPU. And what this program now allows me to do is create a desktop axer or pretty much like a shortcut, which has a set affinity to the maximum of my PC, which I'm going to select here 16, you know, and then we're going to click now onto create shortcut and you can see shortcut created successfully. And now I actually have like an extra data here with which I can launch Fortnite with affinity set to 16, which is going to make sure that my PC is going to use all its available cores and threads to run Fortnite, which is going to improve the multi-core performance of Fortnite. And yeah, then we're just going to leave it here now. And once you want to actually like launch Fortnite and hop in game, you always have to run it over this extra. Then for the rest of the pack, guys, we're going to go back here. We have reducer tweaks, which we're going to apply to our PC and the Zender Bats tweak, which is just overall going to improve the performance of our PC and push its performance to the absolute maximum guys just to make sure that we really get those high FPS in Fortnite and then we just simply gonna reset our PC and we're already done here and real quick guys please also make sure to check out no ping in the description guys you literally can get 20% off and no ping will help you to select the Fortnite server in your near with the least amount of ping in order to help you to get closer to zero ping they also have a built-in FPS booster which you can just simply enable in the settings and it's gonna automatically disable all the unnecessary processes on your PC just in order to improve your performance guys I'm using no ping already for over three months and it's absolutely amazing. So therefore check it out hundred percent. And yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here. Hey guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.